What is going on, everybody? I know I've been talking about the PSA slab video. It will be out tomorrow. Promise. I already have it done. Today, I guess you can call it breaking news. <laughs> Everybody's been talking about it. I wanted to do this video earlier, but I wanted to get a little bit more details on it before I start spamming the old YouTube <laughs> with all kind of stuff. If you didn't know, Golden Auctions today has been acquired by eBay. Really shocking move, and it kind of makes sense when eBay started talking about the buyer's premium and deals with online auctions, and I think their vault, whatever you buy a card onto it, because Golden already does it. I think there's this 20% or something, maybe 22, I forget, it's something crazy onto it. But yeah, Golden's no longer underneath Collector's Universe or Collector's Holdings, they will now be underneath eBay. Kenny Golden, still going to be there at the head of the company. So this will be interesting to see how this plays out. Um, did they just buy it just to have another piece underneath their umbrella? Is there going to be a lot of changes with eBay? Are we going to be moving sports cards all over? I have no idea. Um, there's not a whole lot discussed. I'm sure more information will be coming out in the upcoming month or two on to this. And you can see financial terms are not disclosed. Kenny Golden, of course, he's ecstatic. He now gets to have a little bigger of a golf course piece in his backyard. But really surprising that Nat Turner let this go. Um, I really like the part of Golden where they had PSA's vault there. And if I won something off the PSA vault, it pretty much, you know, would ship within, I would say, 48 to 72 business hours out of there. A lot quicker than, you know, coming straight from Golden Auction. So, no joke, well, I was waiting some stuff. Three weeks would pass and still waiting for stuff to come. I win other auctions, still waiting, you know. That's why I don't really buy a whole lot from Golden. It takes a while to get to you. If you can find stuff that, you know, you're going to need like two months down the road, that's perfect. So I happen to scroll down here, and this is from TechCrunch. And eBay continues to invest in the trading card space, blah, 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 blah. Um, the parent company of PSA, a third card, uh, just gives you the background shit. Um, where is it at here? Okay, this the transactions include the, a trading card commercial agreement that aims to provide trading enthusiasts a seamless, seamless buying, selling, and grading and storage experience. As part of the partnership, eBay and PSA plan to introduce a customer-centric product experience over the coming months. Plus, PSA is launching a new service for customers to list trading cards on eBay as soon as they get the card uh, graded. That way you can hurry up and get it sold quicker, I guess, the bigger flip process. This is where I thought was really interesting onto it. eBay acquired um, Collector's Auction House Golden. Um, no, that's not it. I'm trying to find where it was at on here. Oh, eBay is also selling the eBay Vault to Collector's Universe. That is kind of part of their deal, it looks like, here. So they're going to merge both of the vaults. I don't know what it costs. To me, I will not store anything in anybody's vault that long. I mean, I have stuff in Com C, which I can't remember if eBay owns a percentage of it now or if they bought the whole thing, something with it. But eBay's been busy buying stuff this year. But with it there, combine them, I don't know what their premiums are going to be, storage fees and all that. To me, I have something that's called American Collector's Insurance. It's expensive because I got some bigger stuff that I keep in safety deposit boxes where there's no real insurance onto it through the banks and stuff like that. But I have the collector's insurance that covers them being in those storage boxes plus, you know, my house and everything else. To me... If I took out the safety deposit boxes, is just what I had in my house. It would probably be like, I'm guessing, a fifty, sixty dollars a month, maybe something like that. Now, granted, I mean, there's a little work to it and all that, but I think it's a better thing you just having your own insurance onto it that you know people have dealt with over time that was recommended. Um, the Dylan vaults. It, it's just my own personal experience. I, I got where some people used it for their big cards. They could hurry up, list them, move them, da 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 da. Not have to worry about all that other 
stuff, the vaults are then held responsible from getting it from shipping from A to B and all that. So I get it from both ends. But this here, that, that's kind of crazy. The eBay vault allows collectors to store trading cards that are valued more than seven fifty. dollars um, I don't know what collector's vault is. The only time I see I get stuff is when I buy it from Golden. It goes in there and it automatically ships. So really interesting. We're going to find out what else there is. Oh, here it is. Wednesday's announcement comes four months after eBay partnered with ComC. Okay, so they partnered, which allowed eBay customers to digitize their inventory. So I knew there was something else on to it. So as you can see, eBay's been busy. Busy this year. I'm telling you. Um, last year, the company bought TCG Player for $295 million. So if you didn't know that, eBay's buying up. A lot of people use the word monopolize. This here, uh, are they buying out their competition? I guess, in a way. As long as you keep them separate identities, and I guess you don't start making one standard across the board, it's fine. Give people options. But definitely something different today with eBay buying Golden. Um, it'll be interesting how that all gets handled. I'm sure we'll see more of it in the months to come. The same with the vaults, both eBay and PSA combining part of this deal. And then, as you see, eBay already partnered with ComC. They bought TCG Player last year. Lots going on in the old card world. I'm curious to see what your guys' thoughts are. If you use Golden... You know, auctions for anything. What do you think? Is it a smart move? Bad move? Same with eBay. You know, is that going to be changing stuff around at all on to? I just realized I had this bottom screen up, so I'm going to kind of clip it as I'm talking to you guys. But, uh, yeah, kind of weird. Kind of weird. Still getting used to the new computer, so I do apologize on to it. But let me know in the comments what you guys think. I'm always curious. It's nice to see different people's points of perspective onto it other than my own. Because then it starts making me think, okay, I see what you're saying. That might be actually good. We'll see how it runs. But other than that, guys, appreciate you all for watching again. Tomorrow, as I promised, the, the fake PSA slab video is coming out. Take a look at it. Um, it has the little black light on to it to show you guys what I'm looking at when I'm looking at PSA slabs across the board, stuff like that. But other than that, guys. Appreciate it. I'm out.